An Nanaimo man who is confined to a wheelchair is recovering from a savage beating after two men attacked and robbed him. Since we first brought you the story last night on CTV Vancouver Island, people in Nanaimo have become outraged, furious that anyone could be so cruel. As CTV's Louise Hartland reports, Mounties are determined to get their men, but they need your help to track them down. I really thought I was that they were going to kill me. Battered and bruised, Robert Benson is still recovering from a brutal attack Friday night. Benson, who suffers from a degenerative spinal disease, made his way to an industrial area close to his assisted living complex. He lit a cigarette, then heard something strange. A bit of rustling. And then the next thing, I was completely tossed out of the wheelchair, which landed on top of me. Benson says the two men asked for his wallet. He refused and says that is when the beating started. And it continued on my head and my facial and then uh, my kidneys. And finally I just pointed it to my wallet and they took the wallet. I had $160 on me. The Nanaimo RCMP says it did not hear about the attack until Sunday and says the area where it happened generates a lot of police calls. And he received multiple kicks and punches and they also used a blunt object to strike him. And he was so embarrassed and so injured that he actually went back to his room and stayed there for several days. It wasn't there to staff checked on him and they saw the, the bruises on him. They took him to the hospital and it was there that the police were called. Staff at Hecate Lodge say they tried to persuade Benson to go for help, but he refused. Fused. First of all, what we do is we do a report. It's my understanding there was a report done, three of them done, because uh, they saw him the next morning. People living here still can't believe what happened. What he went through, I wouldn't like, wouldn't like to see any man go through, because it is, it, to put it bluntly, it was horrible looking. Could have been me. It could have been me, whether I was a female or male, you know. Could have happened to me. Nanaimo RCMP says very few tips have come in about the assault and the suspects. They're, they're both First Nations, considered large males. One had long hair and one had a bandana. So um, it, it's vague, we know that. But if anybody sees males, often they hang around together. Sometimes they'll brag about their senseless crimes. Uh, call us or call Crime Stoppers. Benson's empty wallet was recovered from the scene. He says the beating has left him shaken, a feeling he hopes no one else will experience at the hands of the two men he says attacked. Him. If they're caught, I just hope and pray that um, they've learned a lesson that this would never ever happen to anybody again. Louise Hartland, CTV News.